Welcome guys. In this video, we will be looking at the top 10 best guns in this game. Anyway, this video is totally based on my 2 years of experience in PUBG Mobile. So starting with the number 1, we have the MK14, which I think is the best weapon in this game, everything about this gun is perfect. Here are the stats of MK14, feel free to pause the video and check that out. And I will try to put stats of every gun I mentioned in this video. Something is special about this weapon, whenever you are holding MK14, it feels like you have an overpowered weapon in your hand, which gives you a little bit more confidence to play as aggressive as possible. MK14 is not just a DMR sniper rifle, if you put this weapon in full auto mode with a red dot, it will become a beast in close range, it can outperform any weapon in the close range including SMGs, due to the high damage per second. 4 bullets are enough to kill anyone in this game, no matter what type of armor they are wearing, it can easily do the job. And the coolest thing about MK14 is that it can be used in any playstyle if you play safe or aggressive, it doesn't matter for this weapon it suits for any playstyle. The only weakness for MK14 is its mag size, it is only limited to 10 rounds and 20 when using extended mag. So extended mag is highly needed for this weapon to run in close range, or you will run out of bullets. And I forgot to mention, it's airdrop exclusive, which means it's hard to find. Number 2, an airdrop exclusive only, the Groza. Groza is a combination of AKM and barrel M762, it has the damage of AKM, and the rate of fire is faster than the barrel M762, and the main important thing is the recoil. Which is significantly lower than the AKM and barrel, this makes the Groza better weapon choice, when you have to choose between AKM or barrel, anyway. Here are the stats for this weapon. The base damage of Groza is literally the same as AKM, the only difference is damage per second, Groza has the highest DPS in any assault rifles, which gives the Groza quickest time to kill, and that's the reason it's on number 2. But those of you who may be a little more advanced with the recoil controlling, don't be afraid to use 3 or 4x on Groza, it can do some serious damage to your opponents in mid-range. And nothing feels more satisfied than using a suppressor on Groza. I think Groza is only a weapon which uses suppressor to reduce the recoil, I don't know if using a suppressor on Groza will reduce the recoil, but I am sure using a suppressor will make the weapon handling a lot easier. If you come across a crate or a supply drop, and you find Groza inside, pick it up and give it a try, and I am sure you will like it and put a suppressor to get the best out of it. And you can surprise your enemies with suppressed Groza sprays. If you don't pick it up, make sure your teammate does. Number 3 is another airdrop exclusive, a WM sniper rifle. A WM is a well-known sniper rifle for its ability to surprise the enemy with an instant knock. And also it's the only sniper rifle which can one-shot the level 3 helmet making it incredibly strong for mid and long range. Anyway, here are the weapon stats. A WM is the only sniper rifle which have the lowest amount of bullet drop due to the high bullet velocity. If you look at the weapon stats you may know that AWM can one-shot a level 1 vest, if higher it can do some serious damage to the opponent and make them panic. So you will get an advantage over your enemies. So this gives the AWM moving target abilities which DMRs and other bolt-action sniper rifles don't have. And the best thing about AWM that I like is the ability to steal kills by hitting the knocked players, this is the easiest way to get kills, because hitting knocked players is a lot easier when compared to a live player, due to their continuous movements, which makes them a harder target to hit. I would not always recommend hitting the knocked players for too long. But if you see a player that is knocked, and you can hit your shot, why not get a free kill? Anyway, if you ever find AWM, you should take it, and I recommend you use it to improve your bolt-action sniping skills. Being a good sniper with bolt-action is rare, but it's an incredible skill to learn. Number 4 is not an airdrop weapon, but the popular one, can you guess? Well, it's M416, popular for many reasons, and known for its performance. Sometimes it can be really powerful in close range. It can be used for spraying down enemies in mid-range, the best thing is it has very low recoil, making it easiest assault rifle to control. And for long range, you can just single tap, you can also spray if you could control the recoil. Here are the stats for M416. 
and the other 5.56 assault rifles like Scar L, QBU, etc. will have the same damage as M416, but their performance will not match to M4. But there is a major weakness for M4, it requires a lot of attachments in order to perform better, it would not affect our gameplay if we play without attachments. But playing with perfect attachments is always better, and sometimes it's very hard to find its perfect attachments. Number 5, the shotgun, this includes all the shotguns. Anyway, shotguns are really powerful in extremely close range, no other weapon can outperform a shotgun in ranges from 0 to 25. Here is a quick tip if you ever had to use a shotgun. Do not rush with a shotgun, the shotgun is a defensive weapon, not an attacking weapon. If you have a shotgun, wait until your enemies get really close to you. Shotgun has a base damage of 198 to 216 which can easily one-shot your enemy for an instant knock. All the shotguns have the same accuracy in close range, I would highly recommend using hip fire with shotguns. You always have to remember one thing while using a shotgun, try to knock down your enemy in a single shot, if you miss then you're at a massive disadvantage that you can't escape. Using a shotgun is a skill that you have to learn to get better. Sometimes if you're lucky you might clutch, if not you die. Number 6, the Micro Uzi. It is the most powerful SMG in this game right now, until this date no other SMG can replace this, maybe in upcoming updates, Tommy Gun will be getting a scope attachment update, maybe it can replace Micro Uzi, let's just hope it will replace. Recent patch updates made all the SMGs more powerful than before, and people started using SMGs more often than before, due to the low recoil. Here are the stats for this weapon. The main reason why Uzi became so popular because of its rate of fire, which can shoot up to 25 bullets in just a second. Which makes this weapon really good in close range with that insane rate of fire. And a really worse choice if you miss a lot. And the weaknesses of Micro Uzi. Not just for Uzi, it's for all the SMGs that are limited to close range from 25 to 100 meters and the low amount of bullet velocity, which makes all the SMGs really bad at mid and long range. Number 7, the Barrel M762. The main reason why it's in the list is because of its high amount of recoil, which is the hardest one to control in this game. If you can manage to control the recoil of barrel, then you can easily control the recoil of any weapon in this game, and that makes you a better player. I always challenge myself to play with these hardest weapons in this game, to become a better player than before. Number 8, the AKM, it's another popular weapon in this game, but most of the players are afraid to use this weapon because of the high amount of recoil. If you don't learn this weapon you're at a massive disadvantage because this weapon has the coolest iron sight in this game, and it does not require any scopes, which makes this weapon a perfect choice in the early game, because finding a red dot can be difficult sometimes. AKM is the most commonly found weapons in early games, because most of the players will try to avoid this unless they have no other options. Here are the stats for this weapon. Number 9, the Mini 14 and QBU for Sandhawk exclusive, the main reason I'm putting these two DMRs in the same rank is that they are very similar, and in Sandhawk you get QBU instead of Mini 14, which is a better weapon than the Mini 14, but sadly Sandhawk only. Anyway, the best thing about DMRs is that they can easily be paired with any weapon and any combo, and if you pair it with M4, you will get ammo synergy. By the way, Mini 14 is the go-to DMR if you're new to this game, it has the lowest amount of recoil, and it can shoot really quick, and the damage is not high, but good enough for a 5.56 weapon. Here are the stats for this Mini 14. Here are stats for QBU. Surprisingly QBU has higher damage than the Mini 14. Number 10, the SLR. It's also known as a self-loading rifle, it's similar to Mini, but the SLR is extremely effective in this game, it has few downsides, which include a smaller mag size and a slower fire rate, but it makes up for it by its absolute tier 1 damage. SLR has an ability to knock a player who has just used first aid kit recently. It has 80 damage on a level 2 helmet, this will give you a big advantage while fighting in long range. Anyway, 
Here are the weapon stats. SLR is the second most powerful DMR in this game, of course first one is MK14. I suggest using this as much as possible to keep the pressure on your opponents from a distance. Anyway, that's all I got for this video, I hope you learned something new today, if you did hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. See you guys in the next one.